Hey guys, welcome to a rather uh, delightfully sunny Scotland. Um, really, really nice day today actually, it's quite cold, but you know what, the sun is out, I've got my sunglasses on. Um, yeah, all good. I thought I would take this opportunity to make a short video. Now one thing that I used to quite enjoy, and I think a lot of people do enjoy either taking part in answering or just listening to questions, and it is the community question. That's a thing where people, you know, usually a YouTuber would ask a series of questions, a top 10, or what's your favourite, or what would you do in this thing. And they were really popular up to a few years ago, but you don't really seem to get many of them anymore. So I thought I would do one. Now, I was on, a, it was a Facebook <laughs> group, excuse me, the other day there, a couple of days ago, and somebody was asking about the Commodore Sport, the C64 Mini, they were asking, they said that they're 20 years old, um, they've got the chance of getting one, would people recommend buying it? And, you know, a lot of people were saying, well, yeah, it's really great, the nostalgia, blah, 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 and it got me thinking, and this guy, this wee dude, 21 year old, whatever he was, he will not have any nostalgia for it, and it got me thinking, would a 21 year old really be interested in playing a Commodore 64 game? Probably not. And what I then started thinking about is as much as I'm a C64 man, I love 8 bit machines, I've got to say there are very, very, very few 8 bit games that hold my interest anymore for more than a few minutes. You know, games that I played back in the day, that I loved back in the day, a lot of them are playing out and I'm like, that's not a particularly good game. Um, and anyway, to get back on track, it's got me thinking, this is a question that I want to put out to everybody. If you've got a YouTube channel, you want to do a VR response, then all the better. If you're just a commenter, you know, whatever, please tell me down below in the comments what you think. And it is this. If you had to only have one system that you could play, one one gaming system that you could own, what would it be? Would it be a ZX Spectrum? Would it be an Amstrad? Would it be a Commodore Amiga? Would it be a PlayStation 4? Now, I'm going to discount MAME, you know, Arcade. I mean, I, if I had to pick one system, it would be my MAME Arcade cabinet, without a shadow of doubt. But we've got to disregard that because technically that's emulation and it's not, you know, we don't own the machines. So what system, if you could only, only ever have one system as of now, going forwards, that's the only system you can play games on, what system would it be? Now, if you watch my channel on a regular basis, you'll know how much a fan I am of the Commodore 64. You know that probably my favourite machine of all time just, you know, for the aesthetics and, you know, what it does is the Vectrex. But if the truth be known, I very, very, very rarely actually play the Vectrex. Um, but it's still my favourite machine. But if I, was, if I was being forced to pick only one system, what would it be? Now, as much as I don't have any affinity to like the Atari 2600 because I never owned one back in the day so the only games I've played are ones I've played in the last 10 years so I don't have any nostalgia at all for machines that will my first computer apart from the Texas T1 994A which I will not mention because it was shite well at least the games I had were shite all two games all one game I should say my first computer was the Commodore 64 I had it for I got it in 1983 I had it until 1987 I think it was uh, and I mean I absolutely loved it you know the Commodore 64 was an awesome machine it still is a great machine I still play it I still play it regularly I love it to bits then I moved on to Atari ST I had that for a very short period of time then I moved up to the Commodore Amiga which I loved I had the Amiga for about I don't know how many years maybe four years then I eventually moved on to Windows PC and then I got I started collecting systems I got my Mega Drive and Whatever. But I think, you know, the Commodore 64, as much as, as it's, it's a lovely, uh, it's a lovely, what do you call it, system, it really is, I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't want that to be the only system I had. 
because I would get bored pretty quickly. There were very few games that could hold my interest for any length of time. Commodore Amiga, slightly better. There are slightly more in-depth games. Um, you know, it can do stuff that the Commodore 64 simply couldn't do. So, yeah, I would, you know, the Commodore 64, not the Commodore 64, the Amiga is, would be one of my favourites. But I think of all the systems that I would pick, if I had to only pick one, I could only have one, it would probably be the Xbox 360. Why? Well, first up, um, in fact, hang on, I'm just going to stick my sat nav on before I forget where I'm going. The first thing, I, the first thing about the Xbox 360, I mean, the graphics, to my mind, are to die for. I think it's got amazing, amazing graphics. Um, it's got such a wide range. Oh, we don't want you to talk. Just give me a wee sign, guys. I'm going to turn this young lady off. Voice guidance. No, thank you. You can be quiet. There we go. Uh, yeah, where am I? Where am I going with this? Yeah, the Xbox 360 has got an amazing. Um, collection of games. It's got everything. It's got sport, it's got action, it's got fighting, it's got, you know, whatever. It's got arcade, it's got some cracking arcade games. It also um, has quite a good number of uh, classic arcade games. Yeah, you can't play the Commodore 64 or whatever, but, you know, it's just got such a wide range of games. Um, I mean, I've probably got about 200 games for it, I think. Um, and it's a system that chances are I'm not going to live long enough to enjoy fully. Um, you know, I just have so many games and I'm not going to get to enjoy them all. But, you know, if I was to play every single game, it would probably take me, it would probably take me about, I don't know, 30 years or something. I mean, I've just got so many games uh, to play. But there's, there's just everything. Like I said, there's, there's stuff like Gears of War, there's you know, fours are, I mean, it's got amazing graphics for, for driving, it's got cracking arcade games, beat em ups, um, online stuff, offline stuff, wonderful, you know, um, single player adventure type games. Um, it's, to my mind, the Xbox 360 is probably the pinnacle of gaming. Yeah, I know, the Xbox uh, One and the PlayStation 4 and all that bollocks. They're obviously superior when it comes to hardware, um, but as far as my collection goes, and I think even what's out there, um, I just think the Xbox 360 would be the system that I would choose to have if I had to only have one system. Like I say, it's a Commodore 64, all the 8-bit machines are wonderful, really, really good fun to play, but ultimately, um, you know, I would get bored very, very quickly if all I could play was Commodore 64. Games. That's the harsh reality of it. You know, a lot of the games, in fact, I'd probably say most of the games haven't aged particularly well. Well, that's, that's maybe unfair to say. We're talking about a system that came out 35 years ago. So to say it's not aged particularly well, I mean, seriously, no shit. Sherlock, I mean, it was never designed to, you know, Commodore never brought out the Commodore 64 with the expectation that in the year 2018 people are still going to be enjoying them. You know, uh, it was an awesome machine for its time, and I do still enjoy it, I absolutely do still enjoy it, but it would not be the system that I would choose to have. Like I say, the Amiga, I was, when I was thinking about this video, I was kind of torn between the Amiga and the Xbox 360, but again, I'm going to err towards the Xbox 360, just because it's, you know, it's got the, the oomph, it's got the graphical horsepower, it's got the hardware, to really pull games off and yeah as much as I'm a big retro head um, you know I mean I was playing what was I playing yesterday I was playing uh, that VR game Astro Bot on whoa my phone is just moving I was playing Astro Bot on the PSVR and blimey what a game I mean it's you know it just it blows my mind just where how far we've gone as far as computer hardware goes, computer, you know, video games, the quality is just incredible, absolutely incredible. And so as much as I'm a retro head, I wouldn't choose an 8-bit machine. 
to be the only machine I could play it would 100% be the Xbox 360 so anyway guys let me have your comments let me know have a think if you could only have one system one system only in fact you know what I'll say I'll expand it you've only got one system and yeah you can play Wi-Fi and all that kind of bollocks and imagine you've got access to every single game that came out for it. What system would it be? Would you go for an 8-bit machine? Would you go for an Atari 2600? Would you go for a Vectrex, and Television, Spectrum, Amstrad, BBC, Atari, Lynx, uh, Shark, you name it. Or would you go for the PlayStation 1, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, GameCube, SNES, whatever. Let me know. What system would you pick? If you could only ever, ever play this one system from now until eternity, and it's the only system you could play, what system would you pick and why? Anyway, guys, I'm going to get going. I look forward to listening to your, uh, hopefully, your VR responses, or if you don't have a YouTube channel, just put your comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you very, very much for watching.